Shalom, dearly loved ones. This is Kaylee sharing with you on October the 22nd, the year 2022. I want to share with you a dream that I had back in June, on the 22nd of June, 2022. Now you can see the pattern in numbers and that number speaks to me of the tree of life that speaks of the heart of Yahweh opening even further for the healing of the nations. His love is being poured out upon many hearts, that their hearts would come into the, the awareness of who he is, that their identity is being awakened as a son well loved. So on June the 22nd, 2022, I had a dream of a sudden earthquake that completely changed the structure of homes and the earth as we know it. It was changing the structure of the family unit, of the house. The house also speaks of the heart. The house also speaks of of the family of someone's life. Now what I noticed in the dream when the earthquake came it cracked um, it cracked a bedroom wall and it was the main part of the house that I saw that was being split into two. Earthquakes speak of um, hearts being opened and a bedroom speaks of um, intimacy. So in the dream, the earthquake came. The crack was mainly within the bedrooms. The dream went on to a woman who had a sex change. She regretted this and it seemed she didn't want this to happen in the first place. Her heart was as if she was awakened completely when she looked at herself in the mirror. Her eyes were open to the truth of who she is and what she was originally made for. It was the moment she looked at herself in the mirror and she, her eyes were awakened. What does the word say about a mirror? It speaks of as, we, as you look at a man's heart so he is, as you look in the mirror you see a perfect reflection of who you are. Before she saw the doctor to try and reverse her sex change because she realised what she had done was not the will of God. It was not who she was. Everything fell off her before she could even go and book in to see the doctor. Everything fell off. She was back to being who she was made to be since the beginning of time. So as I said before, earthquake can mean the power of God, the shaking and the quaking of Yahweh, awakening, bringing his judgment, which speaks of his love, opening hearts, a visitation by God. Sex change can um, speak of confusion, an identity crisis within one's heart, corruption, blindness and the lust of the flesh. I woke up with such hunger to see purity and holiness in the earth and in the body of Christ and in myself to look within my heart and and ask the Lord, Lord, what are you wanting to purify in me even further? How can I walk in holiness? How and what does it look like, Lord, for me to look like you, to be a perfect reflection of who you are? I believe the shakings and quakings of Yahweh will cause holiness to be seen in the lives of many in unprecedented ways. His righteous judgment, which speaks of his perfect love for his creation. This is what we will see in this time. 
to see his sons return and come home. That is his heart. His judgment is so that all that is not a perfect image of who he is will come into his perfect love and be changed. Nothing can be changed without coming in to the love of God. It is his love that is limitless. It is his love that changes everything. That is the answer in this time. It is the love of God that will transform the hearts of many. This is a beautiful time that we are in, truly a wonderful time we are living in. A time of purification, a time of holy living, a time of living in dignity, a time to be set apart for the one who is and always will be. In 1 Thessalonians 4, 3 to 4, it says God's will is for you to be set apart for him in holiness and that you keep yourselves unpolluted from sexual defilement. Yes, each of you must guard your sexual purity with holiness and dignity. It is the heart of Yahweh that is opening even further in this time for an outpouring of a hava love in the earth. A hava is the Hebrew word for God's perfect love. God's love is large and incredibly patient. First Corinthians thirteen four to seven. I'm going to finish here. God's love is large and incredibly patient. God's love is gentle and consistently kind to all, not just the church, not just those that know him and love him. He is kind to all. I just added that on there. It refuses to be jealous when blessings come to someone else. God's love does not brag about one's achievements nor inflate its own importance. God's love does not traffic in shame and disrespect nor selflessly seek its own honour. God's love is not easily irritated or quick to take offence. God's love joyfully celebrates honesty and finds no delight in wrongdoing. God's love is a safe place of shelter for it never stops believing the best for others. God's love never takes failure as defeat, for it never gives up. I want to speak to those that feel they have not been walking in purity and holiness according to the will of the Lord in their life. I want to say to you that the Lord does not give up on you. He has not given up on you. He does not see your failure as defeat, for he never gives up on you. He never stops believing the best of you. Now go to him, return to him, for he is a safe place of shelter for you. He loves you. He desires you. He desires to see you walk out your fullness on earth as it is in heaven. I bless you. Shalom and shalom.